Ah, yes, 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 yes. If you uh, can't join them, don't knock them. Knock them. And we got knock knives. NOC. Don't knock it. This is the DG23. I saw this and I noticed it was really inexpensive. So I go, it's for me. That's it. It's a price thing. Um, DG23 440C steel. I mean, that is, isn't that a super steel? I think it's got like 10% vanadium and uh, Rockwell of like 84. It's just forever steel. It really, it used to be. I mean, back in the 19, what was it, 70s? I mean, and 80s, there was custom knife makers using 440. It was like the thing, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> hey, uh, it's steel, it works, and it works on my budget. So, this is a DC, what did I say, DG23? DG23. Um, it's not made of DC53, which is actually a steel, which is like D2. But, okay, it would have been cool if they would have had the DG23 with DG, DC, DC53 steel. That way it could really have confused you. Um, but I got mine on all... AliExpress, oh my God. Um, I go there every once in a while and order something just completely off, you know, off the train. Um, DG23, 440C. You can get it though. I mean, you can get the blue and black or orange and black or black and black or you can't get white and white. That'd be cool if you could get white and white because then you could take the scales and make this like blue and then make this like green or whatever. And so you could make, you have four different subscale things that you can make in different colors and make a completely crazy knife just for the hell of it. It was, it was 58 bucks, you know, whatever the hell. And I got mine from Junzi Outdoor Store. 421 followers and I'm unfollowing them. I'm gonna go to a different store next time. Uh, it took a while to get from him. Um, and 88 millimeter blade length, blah, blah, blah. Ceramic bearings. Well, you know what? So, I mean, if you want to spend more money on an NOC knife, there you go. How about this one? You know? How about this party little thing, the S07, which is you can't get because it's unobtainable now. And back when it was obtainable, it was about $700. Was that, was that right? Is it 800, 700, like 690 something dollars. NOC SO7, baby, 10 inches long. Gonna rock your world or close to 10 inches long. So here's the DG, <laughs> look at that, look at that. This doesn't hardly fit in the camera view. Get back here. So, I mean, what's interesting is they'll do that. Like the DG11, DG12, look them up. Uh, got, I got a DG12 rolling around here somewhere. But they're very inexpensive, right? And some of them you can get on Amazon. And some of them you can get them on White Mountain Knives. And you can check that out. At least White Mountain Knives. You don't wait for it to come here from China. This wasn't on White Mountain yet. And I don't know if it will be. But uh, then you get 10% off LTK discount code. Not this. I don't think uh, White Mountain ever had this, but they've got the some of the other MT, like MT-22 or whatever on their side or did have it, but uh, others. So uh, really interesting. I like NOC knives. This is a, oh God, this thing's a damn beast. And you know what? It scares the hell out of me too. Oh, that was close. That was close, yeah. Uh, that'll bite you. I'm um, thinking about pimping this a little bit. I uh, no, just thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, drop this down, here we go. Nice front flipper, insane looks, mall ninja. Of course, why not? I'm going to the mall. Uh, I like going to the mall. If I can get knives like this at the mall, I'm going to the mall, I am, and to the gas station if I can get them like this. So, uh, 
comes in a hard plastic box, which is kind of cool, even if the cheapies do. The cheapies do and whatever. And check this out. Why? I don't know. But uh, they were in there. Um, kind of strange, huh? Uh, what else? Nothing else. Okay. Very strange. Don't know why they sent them. Uh, where's anything else? There's nothing else on this box that identifies it. Okay. Yeah, I really like them. I, I know some other guys that really like the NOC knives, but, uh, uh, I think, you know, it's something you acquire a taste for you or you really like or you don't. You know, it's it's not an indecisive thing. You either really like them or you don't. I, I do like them. I think they're really futuristic or interesting or uh, avant-garde something. They're, they're very different. So, um, and this one is about right size for most people if you're going to think about it because three and a half inch blades, pretty standard you know for carry and that thing's eh, well maybe more like 3.6 inch at 91 or 2 millimeters and then overall eight and a quarter at 21 centimeters but that's that's right on there eight and a quarter same length as a paramilitary two blade that kind of thing so um there's your lock up on the liner that's decent, 25 to 30% in there. Polished liners look good. Uh, not really much in terms of skeletonized. It looks like they've done a little bit of something there. Uh, pocket clips, interesting. So we'll take it apart. I mean, uh, see what kind of bearings we have on the pivot. Obviously, there are bearings on the pivot. And let me see if I got an old raggy ass piece of paper around here. Oh, wow. Um, you know, most of the knives lately I've been messing with just, I'm cutting my own thing apart. Okay. Um, I've been kind of standard factory sharpness. This one's above on that. This one's better than standard. Uh, so bordering almost on scary sharp, which is really nice. Uh, let me look this over. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, I like their workmanship. Uh, I like their sense of design and they kind of, uh, but they can get pretty practical. This one, do you think should have maybe had some jimping here? That's what I was thinking, but other than that, uh, it's centered. There's no blade player lock rock on here, so I got nothing with that. Um, I don't want to get cut, and yes, I'm not going to be too cavalier about how I mess with this. I'm going to let it drop away, you know, like pointing it down so it won't swing back on me. But other than that, the drop is fine uh the lock bar is not super easy to disengage i mean in other words it's got some tension which is good uh then it makes you have to really consider what you're doing here to disengage that plate but yeah other than that it's got reasonable fidget factor on it what do you think um, it's, I don't think it's really that, um, light. Uh, it feels fairly heavy in the hand. Mm, see, there you go. 6.2 ounces. That's pretty heavy. I mean, the paramilitary two is 3.8 ounces. So this is pretty, it's 176 grams. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Uh, let's do this. Let's investigate. Yeah, there you go, 17 millimeter thick, 0.66, see? Those liners in there are probably pretty heavy. And let me see what we got for blade steel, if I can get down on that. Well, almost four millimeters, 0.15 at 3.8 millimeter thick blade stock. Okay, uh, I guess that probably answers the question. 
on that and you got a lot of you know you got some heavy steel fittings here on here thick blade stock pretty heavy duty thick steel liners and the handle overall is pretty much a handful which is nice i mean i like the fact it's got some heft and feel in the hand but i mean for 58 dollars, i thought it was really interesting and worth trying and the ergos are great you know and you can get right up on here if you want it's not too big uh but it's not too little either it's nice so this might be the fascinating part for you. It is for me. And where's my, where's my Torx? And of course, these are going to be number sixes, aren't they? Okay. So where do I want to start with this dog? I, I don't know. Um, I think either way you can go with these. Uh, traditionally, what I've experienced, front or back. And there goes that. And there goes that surround. And then here's the back. Okay. And there's that. Ooh, baby. Oh, well, okay, so that, that's probably going to release this. There's pocket clip with its screw that goes all the way in. Probably should have gone out from the back, but okay. There's the front side here. And here's the front side here and here. So let's keep them on the presentation side and... We're knocking it all apart. There's our bearings. Okay, so they're not big old multi-row ceramic bearings. They're just standard kind of ceramic uh, bearings. And, but they're ceramic. I mean, and then here's, you know, the lock bar with ceramic bearing, ceramic detent ball. Mm, uh, they did some kind of skeletonized front and back on here. But you can take these individual G10 slabs off and do what you want with them so you could add some color to this if you wanted to make this a color that they don't offer you know you can get blue and black blue and white but maybe you want to make this orange or maybe you want to make this i don't know some other color so you could do that uh you can get creative that way and you know the whole kit costs you 58 bucks right so uh for that for that alone, it might be interesting, but yeah, uh, let's grab this. Let's take a look at this, because here's, now this is thinner, but let's get to the thick part of this. Ah, there you go. See, a lot of liners are like one and a half millimeter. This is 2.2, .2, so you got 4.4 .4 millimeter thick steel liners. So it's heavy duty. There's no question about that. And then uh, maybe not to complain, right? Uh, that you've got some pretty stout liner uh, to lock lock that blade up. So, okay. But yes, you're going to pay a premium in terms of weight. But this one's pretty easy to spin apart, isn't it? I mean, it pretty much came apart in my hand. And the hardware... Is attractive. It's interesting. The DG23. Yeah, DG series are like the budget type, like the DG11, DG12. More budget oriented, but 6.2 ounces. And then, like my SO7, this is, this is 7 ounces. This is 7 ounces, but it's way bigger. Way bigger. And so this feels light for what it is, really does, super light. This one feels pretty compact and heavy for what it is. But what do you think? I mean, it's interesting. I like the NOC line of knives. And I know, you know, chasing things like this, then I'm not doing other kinds of knives that I could do. But... I like going off-road a little bit and checking out some of the more unusual models. I'll leave you to it, brother. It's all about being knife crazy, and we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.